Check. You got number four on right now? Yeah. Turn that shit down. You got to sit over there. Turn that shit down. Oh. Oh, shit. My bad, PYs. Oh. Check, that, Mike. That, that mic is not fixed One, yet, two. unfortunately. Yeah, we here. It's the Cypher Show. First show of 2019. We had a monumental, legendary cypher last week to blow out the end of the year for 2018. If anybody yes. that's peep it, go check the archives on madeforkings.com. That shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. A whole, like a whole hour of spitting. Niggas was yelling at me. Like, you ain't rap. Like, we had a thousand niggas in here. I wanted to make sure they all got off. Yeah. Murr. But that's not, you know, that's not that's, the reaction that's I get. That's neither here nor there. Yeah. I was like, it was their time, Sean. This is what I'm saying. Say. But I can't yeah. say that to niggas because niggas is like, fuck that. Fuck everybody. I'm not even saying. You, all right. Do a show, B. Like, this is <laughs> it's not about me, man. Like, fuck. It's not about me. It's about them dope-ass artists. And thank you to all of you Negroes that pulled Damn, up really. last last week, man, and, 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 Word. and got Showed crazy biz. Went busy. Nah, it was a dope scene, man. Or, to be honest, it makes you really appreciate the size of this room. Because I'm like, damn, nigga. a lot of people was here. Yeah, and then it was yeah. still niggas outside. <laughs> uh huh. They didn't even all pack in the room. But it was yeah. a lot of motherfuckers here. You know, I love it. Artists didn't yeah. come through that was supposed to. Yeah, it was a it few. It would have been even more crazy. Everybody that we promoted showed up, though. Yeah. Everybody that uh, confirmed and sent us flyer. flyers. They showed up. Yeah. Everybody else who was like in the email, I'm gonna be there. Right, they right, right, right. But those who needed to That's be cool. here were here. You missed out on the monumental event. Just yeah. everybody that came through. Too many to name. Fucking. It was. I took dope. 2018 on crutches, man. This was a. Uh, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. We started with a bang. Uh huh. Now we yeah. uh we ended with a bang. Now we're gonna take that momentum. Word. Into the new year. Our 10th year here on Decipher DTF. <laughs> that gunshot sounded yeah. real different just now. Like, sounded like you mashed them for a second. Hey, so that just now was a little, the first time. Yeah, there was a. There was definitely there was a little echo. hint of. Yeah, it was. <laughs> even the kick of it was crazier this, that first time. Uh huh. Like that just oh, now was crazy. Extra bass. Yeah. yeah. We, we need our engineer to pay, pay attention to the volumes. Yeah. And I gotta be home editing videos, doing engineer work, trying to fix the levels. <sighs> non stop. Word up. Yep. Mm, anyway. Mm, mm. Yeah, we're back, man. Brand new year. Uh P Wise. What's up? What's your as a as a DJ, what's your what's your, your goals and plans for this year? DJ Moore. Um it's actually been taking a backseat due to the whole mentorship program. Okay. And ironically, it's still going to take a backseat because I had a new change in my life. Uh -oh. So What does that mean? Having not, a kid. Not good having things. A kid. Having a kid. Things. Having a kid. Having a baby. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't <laughs> <doing that. laughs> getting married. And that's what it sounds like. He's married already, ain't you? Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. There's no such thing as halfway crooks, B. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm fully going to jump in, but... <laughs> Just some th got some things to take care of, but that'll come in order though. Alright. So DJ Moore, and mm -hmm. uh, just just live life, right? Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, Mr. Thirteen. Same thing as always, bro. Trying to take over the world. Right, right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Diz, Icon. Mm -hmm. I hear this word on the streets that. Um, Diz may change his name to the Victorious Diz. Is that a confirmed rumor? Or is I don't that know if just going to be a full fledged change? It's something I'll call myself from time to time. So it's going to be an alias. Yeah, it's another alias. Okay. I'm um, thinking about changing my name from Diz. Period, man. Fizz. Uh, There's another nigga out there named Diz the Icon. Like, where the fuck this? Really? I swear to God, so like when I seen this shit, I'm like, come on, man, no really? Way. Where did this even uh, come from? You gotta battle him for his name. So the niggas, and he's a fucking musician or some dumb shit. Where? There's the icon. Son, I swear to God, go, I, I hit the Where? nigga. Go on IG right now. Where's he at? Where's he live? I don't know, son. 
What well, matters though is when you, you got the when you hit crib. Here's what matters though when you hit the Google. Does it come up first? You know who comes up first? This, the icon for That's the cipher show. The rapper icon. He even got a list of songs mm-hmm. available. Oh uh-huh. shit! I ain't Turn even know up. that. Son. I ain't even know We're that. About to get that Wikipedia popping too. Yo, that's crazy. Uh-huh. I ain't even know that. The original Diz the Icon. That's the real Diz the, the official Diz the Icon. That's what I should change my shit to. AKA the notorious Diz the Icon. Diz Dastardly. Fizz the Flycon. Fizz the Flycon. That's only like anybody ain't going. Nah, because then they gonna confuse me with the gang nigga from B2K. <laughs> Don't Chris Stokes me, man. <laughs> exactly. Niggas is out here, Chris Stokes. There's a lot of shit going on with Chris Stokes and R. Kelly. Yikes. Is he in that docu? I think he is. I I seen something posted about that him sucks. that he made a comment about the documentary. That sucks. So I didn't I didn't see it. It's a it's a chronicle of his his uh exploits exploits. exploits. Peeing on women's mm-hmm. or little chicks. Surviving. It says surviving R. Kelly, right? It's a three day joint. Once you're in R. Kelly's Damn, cult, apparently. you're in. Yo, it's a three day lifetime. Got a three day, three day docu series really called cool. Surviving R. Kelly. My question like, is, how did Lifetime pull that off? <laughs> you came all the way with it. Of Wait, all. it was a like a, a documentary or? First of all, I think it's, it's actually a three part docu series. This is the second, second day. Second going on right now. I mean, yeah. is it like acting or documentary? Yeah, it's a documentary. Like documentary. They, documentary. they oh, like interviewing wow. Yeah, they go in about the Aliyah marriage and all that. So they trying to like like OJ. They trying to get the OJ documentary, man. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. I mean, after all this time, they trying to get that nigga up off of here. Robert, Robert Kelly, Robert Kelly, uh, the Pied Piper. Come to decipher the Pied Piper of. We need to hear your R- story. R and P. Yeah, our rhythm and piss. He peed on that girl. It was crazy. He's the only bitch on that tape that looked old enough to fuck. He just ate up, ate her ass. So, yes. I, this yeah. was brought to my attention <clears throat> by a law enforcement person. Uh-huh. If you've seen the tape and have had it in your possession, uh-huh. technically, you're in possession of child, child pornography. pornography. Yeah. That's wild. Well, Figures. technically, they so, can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> not that. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? Not that we endorse child right. pornography. Right, not at all. No, I'm just terrible. saying. Not by no means. If you got caught with it. That would have been child pornography charges. Shit, that's they, uh, yeah, that's they couldn't have hit me you with that. Barber, you know I was still my nigga. When I, yeah, when I saw it, I was when I saw it, I was a fucking teenager. That would have been. And the wild shit. Now this is the fucked up part about it. And I ain't gonna put none of these older niggas on blast that I saw this shit with. But I'm watching this shit and I'm looking at this little bitch. I'm like, yo, she can't even. And I'm a young nigga and I'm like, yo, she can't even move her little body right. Like this is what I'm saying as I'm watching this shit. Titties ain't dropped my yet Jesus. enough. Come and come and shake your body, body. My nigga, the titties was sitting up mad hard. Yeah. They ain't dropped yet. Like, she had little girl titties. Them shits was, they had some size That's for them, but they looked That's what he was hard singing. and they did not. Yeah. Like, how, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm watching this shit, and these wow. niggas is like, oh, oh, she doing a thing. When he started fucking, oh, I'm like, no, man. she not. What? Yo, she couldn't ride the dick properly or nothing. The little bitch looked like. Well, we know Diz watched it. I absolutely <laughs> saw that. I just told y'all. The nigga, yo, listen, the nigga, All listen, right. man. Just because he seen that doesn't mean he has possession. No, hey, no, nah, so not anymore. Cool. I gave away the last copy I had to somebody for their birthday wow. last year. He gave away the last, <laughs> last copy, copy last, last year. year. He just admitted to a felonious <laughs> act. How long ago? I'm gonna ha- I'm, I'm, <laughs> just because I'm his manager, I'm going to have to bleep all that out for him. That little bitch felonious. That little bitch grown right now, man. I was selling it last year. She's grown. I sold my last copy last year. So hold on, year. is it child pornography if the bitch yes. grown? Because she yes. didn't get older in the tape. She's yes. grown. That's no longer a child. It's still a child. At that moment. Listen, yeah. 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 man. I didn't, first of all, I didn't do it. And then at the end of the day, then at the end of the day, it wasn't me. How was it child pornography when R. Kelly got? He took that shit to trial and beat it. Well, that's what I'm saying. He should be because he got money. He got money. A nigga. And he peed on somebody. So hold on. The reason he beat he it is because they trial technically and beat it. couldn't prove that it was actually the girl on the tape. They said that the video wasn't of good quality. Okay, so then you so. can't prove that I got child pornography. Case closed. Case fucking closed. How did we get? And what? Point? How did we get? Happy that? fucking get New it? Year! How did we? He's happy New Year! Child pornography. Happy New Year! How did we? We do it? not I said, promote or condone. I did not at all. Hold on, not, like not, show. not in no way, shape, or form do not we condone all. nor promote not child all. pornography. 
Yeah. No way, shape, or form. Just let that be known. All right. So, I'll fuck up a child predator on sight. Like, I fuck Chris Hansen. I'm, I'm, I'm justice, nigga. Justice and peace. Put them together. This is a happy new year. <laughs> so. Don't, don't do that to me. On the show tonight, <laughs> let's stay away from that discussion. Yeah. We got the bill collector in the building with us one more again. He gonna sit down and chop it up with us. We had huh? him before? Yeah. Wasn't he here before? I don't believe so. We had goods up here before. We had a couple of other rappers that are in the battle circuit, but I don't believe Bill Collectors was here. Oh. Yeah, sure. um, and you've been here. We had so like, many people here. And you this know, is a fact. I don't know. As evidenced by. He has been on more. DTF before, though. Yeah. So he'll be back in the studio. Okay. So technically, I'm right. Yeah. There's like a clock, a broken clock on 12 o'clock every time. Right? Twice a, a day? Something twice. Like that. A, even a broken clock. Twice. Even a broken clock. Trying to say I'm twice, twice right? Today. Trying to say I'm right twice. I'm saying you're. Bro- I'm saying you're a broken clock. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> you bastard. Um, I also uh, we have congratulations in order to Mr. Thirteen. Talk about uh-huh. it. He's now management at DTF Radio. Yeah. yeah. The building, son. He got a key to the building now. What? Welcome moving to the club. Up. I moved up. Welcome to the club. To the east side. <laughs> to a dealer's apartment. I mean, I've technically been management for a while, you it's know what fact. I mean? Since they the just beginning. Gave me the rock chain they just finally though. gave me the key, though. The key to the city. Nigga just gave me yeah. this Rockefeller chain. Yeah. Yo, why he don't hand out DTF radio chains? We're going to ask him for a chain. We're going to be like, yo, we need the Let's DTF chains. This is going to be a sterling silver with moissanite. With zirconia. Moissanite. Yup. We're going to give us some fork metal. Yikes. With Cervosky crystals. <laughs> He'll give us, yeah, exactly. Some fork metal with some moisten. Yo, I also heard on the street that um, Fizz. Fizz the fly come. Allegedly has a show next week. Three shows coming. Three. Three. Jesus Christ, nigga. I thought it was two. I heard Three this one shows. on Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday, then Friday. Sunday, Friday, one Friday okay. and Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Talk, Friday and Saturday. Would you like to talk about that, Mr. I, I, first of all, I didn't know nothing about the Saturday. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I sent you that. That's the City Life joint. The 12th? The 12th. Get the fuck out. No, I didn't know that. Be real yeah, shit. Yeah. I sent that to you. Man. Holy you fuck. When did you, you send that? Now you know. A while ago. Look at this shit. It's on the So that's three right. joints. I ain't even been promoting the 12th. Nah, we're promoting the, the Sunday joint right now. Then we're going to get to mm-hmm. promoting the others. We don't want to confuse <clears throat> the masses. Niggas don't fuck with me like that, no way. Confuse the masses. You understand? Know so they ain't, you know. I'm hitting niggas like, yo, I got tickets left. They're like, yeah, so what? Oh, nah, I'm to fuck y'all too. I got some tickets left, maybe. That's what I said. Before. I got a few tickets left. Hit me. Hit us up. Y'all want to get a ticket, hit us up. Come see Flizz the Fly come for Flizz. Flizz. That's another one. <laughs> Flizz, Flizz the Fly. Flizz, Flizz the Fly Flizz. So yeah, man, Sunday I'm at the Delancey. Yeah. Pull up for that situation. For the artistry hosted by V. Henny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shout, Shout out to, to, to more bookings. Yeah, yeah, man. More bookings. That's right. Yeah. And the one that next week is where? The 11 from the Blackthorn. Yeah, mm. with Honey and the Underground Concert Series. I'm going to have him smoke, put smoke on the stage and all that for me. Word. You going to come out like a wrestler? Damn. Diz DiBiase. Damn. Victorious D.I.Z. Flizz the Fly Con. Doom, 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 And then on the 12th. Then on the 12th, we at uh, the five spot, right? Five spot. Five spot? I believe so. But do that again. Five spizzy. Smash that or whatever. City life. Yeah. You know, smash that or whatever. Beat that stage up. You know what? You want to perform? You perform at the five spot? Damn, this is your wife. Yo, this is crazy. Like, why not? Because I don't even know how many songs I get that day. I'm sure you get one at least. We got at least least dudes and what and nobody. Gotta definitely do those two. So if I do the third, you know what I mean? Gotta make sure I bring you out, Keep Keep you sharp, you know what I mean? Make sure you don't collect no dust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Legacy be looking like he need WD-40 on his joints That's when he's crazy. up on Why are you going through that, man? Damn. Damn. It's he was supposed to, you know what I mean? We got this regimen. You don't know? even got the heart to get on stage. Oh. Especially when I'm on the stage. Oh! Oh, oh. 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 Shit! Oh! He, 
dissed you, son. Dissed me. He's been dissing me my That's whole life. His whole life. <laughs> Yo, as soon as he came That's out, crazy. his his mother's you was standing right there. <laughs> you ain't shit. Like, like you ain't shit. You ain't never <laughs> like, gonna be you shit. Ain't shit. You ain't nothing. <laughs> Get your like, shine box before you even <laughs> walk. You better not crawl out of here acting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. We're going we're gonna to set up a rap battle. Damn, son. I don't want to do this. Like, so. Look. We're going to battle. I'm going to show y'all what it is. This is crazy. For supremacy? For supremacy. For supremacy? The, the intercontinental rap champ. Yo, we just got to yep. get that belt done. Yo, Yo, so starting this week, man. I mean, wow, rumble in the Bronx. Oh shit, let's do it. We let's can go. rumble in Brooklyn. Let's go again. rumble. That's it. It's popping. Rumble on Grand Avenue. Grand yeah, Ave. Sure. After we're this, going right? we're going in. We're going in. You scrape your face on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I. Right. This is crazy. P. Watch, you ready to see that? This <laughs> legacy's got a lot of animosity. You see? You want? You ready to see that? Built up. I mean, listen, man. We I'm turn these cameras off. Yeah, I'm saying turn these mics down and. I just fight and get this shit over with. Like, Let's bro. do it. Let's do but it. We have to. We both have to keep our glasses on when we fight. That's no. crazy. Those <laughs> niggas can't go be able to see the punches coming. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> see who's that shit gonna look like a kung fu flick. It's gonna be to like the bird class. box. What's crazy is niggas gonna look boxing. like they super nice. Cause they gonna keep missing. The niggas look like they weaving, but they really can't see shit. <laughs> 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 These niggas go like they super ill. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Bill Collector and uh, first Friday of he spent the night. Fuck that. I'm not letting no fucking rapper come up here no more and not fucking rap at the end of the fucking night. <laughs> it's funny you said that because yeah, he was like, I got, I'm, I'm a little hoarse. I might not spit tonight. So. Negative. Let's see if we get a couple of bars out of this Negative. guy. I'm bars. guaranteeing you, you're going to have a sip or two and he's spitting. Let's go into this independent mix. Independence. You're gonna miss the fight, uh, oh, P-Wise. Shit, that's it's going down. Miss. Now put that program that thing. Matter of fact, <laughs> program that thing to autoplay. Put autoplay. It's on and popping, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see one of these niggas get beat up right now. <laughs> him, him. I'm just saying, I, you know what I mean? Him, him. All Stay right, tuned. Yo. Stay tuned. One of these niggas gonna come back with an eye, Jimmy. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse Yo. me. Back in the building. Decipher DTF motherfucking radio. Or whatever. This is how it goes down every Friday, 9 yeah, to yeah, 11. Yeah, we here. Chill. Pay attention, put your shoes on. We got a super dope special guest in the building with us. He's actually not a guest, he's family. He's been here before many times. He's actually a host that won Pizzoint in time. My man lost. Yeah, what up, y'all? Yo, what's Happy up, New man? Year, everybody. Happy, Happy holidays. Happy New Year's, you know what I'm saying? Good stuff. How was your New Year, Good vibes. Sir? Very calm. Thank you very much. Okay. Expa good stuff. Expanding the brand and the team. That we were uh, elaborating on behind the scenes. That's what we do. That's what we does. Yeah. Glad for you to be here tonight, sir. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, uh, actually, I just seen that... Uh, Bill Collector's in the building, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so we're going to mm -hmm. chop it up with him in a few. But uh, it's everybody's favorite part of the show. Segments. 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 We're going to come up with some new music this year? Why are we? Who, me? That's a segment? We should come up with oh, some. Oh, Everyone had a wonderful new year. Um, I'm actually starting out uh, with some boring stories here. Because I'll be honest and transparent, because I'm good at my job. I was not prepared today, tonight. Mm -hmm. So I just quickly made something up. <coughs> and let's see how it goes. Thank you for being so... Uh, I've got people who would beg to differ. Mm. About what? That you're good at your job. Mm. Where's his mic? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, some you know everybody. Of course, New Year's just passed, and of course, people have horror stories um, of some crazy New Year's uh, Attack of the shenanigans. Exes. Could be any type of thing. Zombies, all type of shit. Mm -hmm. 
basic, same thing. So one dude, uh, at the age of 22, this took place at a club in St. Louis. He went to the bathroom to relieve himself after, you know, drinking a little bit after 12. He placed his phone down on the back of the toilet. When he was finished with his business, he went to grab the phone, slipped on something, a uh, liquid, probably piss, and uh, he crashed his head into the toilet, <laughs> breaking his nose. Nice. Uh, the bathroom attendant would not let him leave, which is, this is a good thing, the bathroom attendant would not let him leave until his nose stopped bleeding, which probably was not good for his broken nose, but... <laughs> that was, Yo, what? That was, uh... Bro. Yeah, exactly. Why did you even bring that he up? He probably did a fat line of cocaine. Back city, dog. He started he bleeding all over out. the place. Exactly. Slip. Busted his own face on the toilet. This is your brain on drugs. So kids don't do that. Um, another... How did that make you, like, top anything? Uh, like I said, I'm just freestyling. <laughs> He's winging it right now. He's winging Yo. it. So another, uh story that was submitted took place with a group of women that they decided to go mm-hmm. to the forest and have a bonfire for New Year's I thought he was going to say something else what? listen I got the hold on hold on now let me say somehow the bonfire didn't go down long story short they ended up pissy drunk in the woods and had to sleep in a freezing car and somebody else went down where <laughs> they all went down she witnessed <laughs> two of her best friends giving a blowjob to a guy that <laughs> was called Corn Dog Dick. Corn Dog Dick? Got corn brains. Dog wow. Dick. That <laughs> sounds crazy. Yeah. Like, what? Well, uh, no. <clears throat> Do I want No. Nah. I'm good. Yeah. Again. Why does... I don't know. This what? Make what kind of phone are you... What are you, what are you searching on? <sighs> my phone here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's got secret sound. access to, like... I'm on the web, here. I don't want to know about the dark web. The darkest nah, web. That's like the beige web. Is it the beige web? It's the yeah. off white web. Mm. It's not too crazy. Hey, white web. Actually, those sound like stories for white people. So it that's might just be the white, white web. web. <laughs> the white he web. said the off white. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, that's why I saw Redneck white. web. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, nah, then it would have been a cousin. That's, that's probably all. That's the news. Corn by dog dick money. Like, what the Legacy star, Mr. Corn Dog. Dick what a way to bring in a new fucking year. So Amazing I'll guy. have something better next year. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. Do you even get music for that? <laughs> I should get gunshots. It's on. Bong. Oh, oh shit. Fuck <laughs> all right, all righty. That was great stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, Legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Awesome. Next up. What a way to pat yourself on the I'm, back. I'm going I'm to I'm <laughs> talk about something real quick because this He's always got the best segment, oh, shit, so we want to let him close it out. Let me marinate. All right. <laughs> over over the vacation time, I was watching the documentary on Netflix, and it was called Murder Mountain. Okay. Now, this is the illest white privilege about. documentary I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's about a mountain in California, in Humboldt County, where they've been growing weed for maybe over 50 years. And the cops know they grow weed there. They try to raid it. They try to shut them down unsuccessfully. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called Murder Mountain because people come from all over the country to get rich. And they go up on this mountain and they end up disappearing Mm. at record numbers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Even to the point that when you drive up Murder Mountain, there's piles of cars of people who have gone missing that have not been retrieved and the serial numbers have been burned out. Oh, shit. Now, if eyes. this was happening mm. in uh, the hood, I would think the FBI would be on that. Uh, fuck yeah. Right? Shit, hell yeah, they'd be swarming that shit. And they interview these farmers, and they're talking about legalization and how it's, you know, affecting them. And they're crying because they're not making as much money as they used to. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about 50 years of unadulterated, on, uh, uh, non-stop growing of weed and selling across the country is basically like the Medellin of of America and murder and yeah. when you and think murder and, and <laughs> murder and murder a little and forget a that. Little thing called so murder. not only do these people have a documentary about their neighborhood but <laughs> uh, they're also being portrayed as victims yeah I, that shit is absolutely on Netflix victims right to legalization but what is what 
back to the murder part. <laughs> what are they doing about that? The people that disappeared, well, they the, just missed. The police said, "Oh, we don't go up there because we don't have relations relations with the people on that mountain." Mm. And oh, basically, when people go missing and families come looking for these people, the police give them the runaround, tell them, "Oh, wow. they." You know, they probably just in some place picking weed. All they never were here. It's just regular mo- people that go. Regular people. Anyone who wants to go make money, you go up to Humboldt County to get the connect. You go and get missing. Yeah, you got to connect. All right. Man. Wow, that's crazy. And that's when you think about it, Humboldt County was the beginning of the weed legalization movement. Mm. So you got to think about the power of the growers that were in this neighborhood that they were able to change the the government in California to agree right. that we should be legal and further on other states are following. But the funny yeah, thing is they, they did it because they had already, I'm certain, got their hands into the motherfucking dispensaries. Yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so no, they now are, they, they send, are a major part of the dispensaries. And they send it directly to the dispensaries yeah. and the money. I mean like they ain't losing nothing, them niggas that had that shit. Yeah. I'm sure there's some type of loss going on with major corporations moving in on their businesses, but now the whole crazy thing to me was that I watched uh, into the second episode and it wasn't till the end of the second episode that they mentioned that there could possibly uh, be a cartel. Mm-hmm. But five part series and in the whole five part series, they never conclude that there's one entity controlling this mountain. Of course not. And, you know, so to me, that's like the illest white privilege shit that I experienced all week. Wow. That's a fact. Because had that been going down in the hood... The they FBI shut, would be all up They, they would have just burnt everything down. Listen, I was, in, I was locked up with older white men, and that was not for growing bud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had they on planes and shit, flying weed places. So, and Then the part of the documentary, the police drive up on Murder Mountain, and then white men dressed in army fatigues begin to harass them. Mm-hmm. It, uh, they they pull up on their ATVs with shotguns and AK forty sevens on their backs, like, and they're like rev- revving it up on the police. And the police are like, you know what? Maybe we should get out of here. Yeah. Some niggas will get bodied in the- <laughs> <laughs> on Murder Mountain. Murder Mountain, you get away with it. Uh, I'm good. There's actually right. um, a spot in upstate, well, Rockland County. It's the same type of thing, but it's a family of white people that live up. In the, some hills or some shit, they call the Jackson Whites, and it's the same type of shit where police nobody could go up into that that forest or something's gonna happen to you, like yeah. deliverance type shit. That's crazy, man. Yes, it is. So that's crazy. You that's should do a, a segment every week. The the, the, the white biggest white report. privilege report. <laughs> that would be dope. Well, that murder the mountain, that murder mountain documentary. Y'all should watch it. See what you think about it and what you get out of it. I just gotta watch Infinity War eight more times. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's funny. I've watched that. Nigga, I don't. You know, I'm trying to tell you, like, I just put that shit on. Like, it just be on. Just be in the background. I like, yeah, like I, I watch that and Black Panther all the time. All the fucking time. Yeah. You know what? I just hold on. What did I watch the other day? That's Some true. bullshit. It was definitely bullshit. I'm gonna remember it. You know, it's funny. Let us know when you remember. I was definitely since you mentioned Infinity War, I was watching that earlier this week. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> as soon as it was up there. And my boy. How Terrence Howard fucked up the bag. He did he? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, you see Rody right now? He fucked up this the nigga fucked. Yo, I, soon as I seen Don Cheeto in the second Iron Man shit, I was like, oh, look, this nigga done played himself. <laughs> the residual income since then. What? Now he's Lucius lying. Lucius lying. Dumb motherfucker. Terrence, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell us his face. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. So, Come on, man. <laughs> What, what are you doing today? Bad, man. Is it uh, questionable lyrics? Nah, uh, man, I'm factual. Facts, facts Actually, up? factually. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah. This is the facts. On a Friday, I got the facts. I do it my way. Fuck the highway. Ride the train. With my facts. In your pack. Or I kick your ass. With the facts. Let's be back. <laughs> with the facts. Uh, bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss being here. Yo. The Cypher Show with DTF Radio 8 Friday from 9 to 11. We are back with the Fun Facts. Sponsored by Made for Kings Entertainment and Paper808.com. They have just released their children's book entitled The Pocket Monster. So go on Amazon and give your child the gift of reading this season. (laughs) I don't know why that was funny. Moving right along. Fact number one. In Amsterdam, 
If you don't have any family next to kin or friends to mourn you at your funeral, a poet will write a poet some poetry for you and recite the shit at your grave site. <laughs> this is a fact. So you will never die alone in Amsterdam. They'll put something together for you. Nothing? Nobody? That's cool. We don't. Well, fuck y'all too. That's a fact. That's what's up. Fact number two. In Genesis, the Bible, mind you, chapter 1, verse 20 through 22, it states that the chicken came before the egg. Anybody? Anybody? What? What happened? It's in the good book. This is a fact. In the good book, it says that the chicken came before the egg. Genesis chapter 1, verse 20 through 22, the chicken came before the box. This is what we're doing right now? Says, this is what we're doing right now. In the Bible. In the Bible. In the Bible. In the Bible. In the, Bible. In the good Word book. Up. Okay, Bible. I'm going to look that up. In the anti-Quran. The anti-Quran. The Bible. I'm going to look that up. Next In fact. <laughs> and my third and final fact, because this is a hip-hop show, fact, P. Diddy was formerly a backup dancer for Big Daddy Kane as well as Heavy D. For all of you new jacks that yeah, didn't yeah, know that, yeah, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? A lot of the youngins so. won't know that. They don't even know who Diddy is. Yeah. It's like who's Diddy? The guy from the first train to Paris. What was the name of that group he was in? Last train to Paris. What was it Diddy and the band? Diddy and the girls. What's what the name of that Diddy? Diddy and Dirty Money. Kane. Diddy, Diddy Kane. Dirty Money. Dirty. Ah, Diddy and Dirty Money. Okay. Diddy. I it said Diddy Kane. Diddy Kane. Then it was Dirty Money. Diddy's yeah. Dirty Money with Diddy Kane. <laughs> Dirty Diddy. Dirty Diddy. Dirty Diddy Kane. Dirty Diddy Anna. Dirty Diddy with Diddy Kane. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get back to it. Take me out of here. <laughs> Take him out. Yeah. Those was the facts on a Friday. I did the facts. I did it my way. Get on the highway. Fuck the train. Put my facts in the trunk and bring them back. My facts. Put the facts in your face. Put the facts on your face. Put the facts all over your face, girl. <laughs> the facts. Dragging these facts, facts across your face. Busting these facts off on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what happened? Wow. What happened? What are we doing? We taking um, an independent said, mix. Yeah, going to a little mix right now. We come back. Shall return back. with the boy. Don't Bill come back till I like, get from back from the liquor store. Bill Collector. Don't come back till you get back. Yeah, too late for you, brother. Time you want. Go ahead, P. Wise. Do your thing, nigga. Yeah, yeah, we back in the building, y'all. The cipher. DTF. Radio. We get on levels right now. Motherfuckers. Okay. This is feeling a certain way right now. Motherfuckers. But we back up in the building. Uh, shout out to you watch for that little mix right there. It's factual. We got a uh, dope yo, artist. Yo, yo. I can't hear myself. Shut me in. Uh, I've done nothing to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so nothing to you. We back in the building, got a, a dope artist with us here, putting it down on the battle scene, doing his thing. Bill Collector. He's Sit 
Thanks. And I see you brought it. I got, I got my man <laughs> AG with me, AKA uh, my man G Bo. That's how I say it. Yeah, we try to switch him up. Uh, this this boozy bad new artist. Yeah, we say so, shout out Big Bro. Shout out Big Bro Boozy. Yeah, shout out Big Bro. Shout out my man Hollywood. TPF, yeah, all TPF. Yeah. Shout out yeah. the whole gang, gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out somebody management. You see, you see, I got Josh in the room. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. It's move time. It's time to move. I'm not doing nothing bad time. I hate you. You know what's funny is that any dude that I know named Josh is, is about his business. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't even know you, but I'm, you look like you're about your business. Yeah. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Good stuff, though. So how long, matter of fact, now nah, I'm going to ask you this. What made you want to get into the, the battle rap? That's to say that question is not even because it's not like I just got into it like oh you niggas know, it's, it's a battle rap thing because battle rap wasn't a thing right, right, it wasn't right. something niggas carried about mm. or was it like a circuit a big league and right. walk around and all. smack was just smack DVD right. and he came from a nigga from a DVD niggas don't know that the DVD started last time it's called Two Raw for the Streets mm. Big Star DVD okay. this is where Reed Dallas came from mm. Cassidy Freeway Beanie Siegel these are the these type rappers, you know what I'm saying? Right. Ab all these guys, like they came from the Star Tapes, Big Star DVD, it's for Cassidy Battle Freeway. Mm. It's something that was a Star Tape, you okay. understand what I'm saying? And this Smack DVD came out. Mm. It's what I'm saying? We was battling each other before all of that. Like, right, right, right. soon as the Star put the cameras on, and niggas be like, oh, you rap? Yeah, yeah. I rap. Battle me right now. Mm. No, okay. not, yo, three months from now, we're going to meet in the desolate location. Right. It's going right. to be, you can't touch me. Nah, nigga, you might get stabbed at the battle. <laughs> <laughs> you still know what I'm So it's like, I didn't get into battle rap, we created it. I was part of creation of battle rap. Mm, okay. So that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a bold statement right yeah, there. Yeah, I built this shit. You understand know what I'm saying? Um, no, I'm not the king of it. I don't claim credit for the entire movement of battle rap like these other weirdo niggas is doing. But I was part of the building of this shit. I was part of the creation of professional battle rap. Okay. And you're from? Mm -hmm. From, from Norristown, Pennsylvania. About 20, we the Coney Island in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Put it like that. <laughs> we the Coney Island in Philly. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to, that's crazy. So this is the last train. Because Coney Island, yeah, yeah, yeah. We buy ourselves, we, we, so it's we right there. Up, and, we, and we only 20 minutes from the city. And it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. And you'll get lost. Especially if you come out, oh, this Norristown, this is Pennsylvania, it's lost. Mm -hmm. Nah, and then you lost. You're like, damn, this is the hood. Mm -hmm. Somebody help me. Yo, can you tell me how to get the, oh, you ain't from around here? You're done. Black out. Stupid. Okay, all right. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out to my town. Pray for my, pray for my town. Pray for Dodge Town. Shit real dark right now. Um, Do you feel, pray for the town, man. Um, because they, you know, people have always said it's sort of a stigma with the battle rap that they can't be successful artists. Um, I mean, you I got Don Q. You got Don Q, not a successful artist. I fucked Don Q up. Don Q, come back. Uh, there, uh, 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 come get back in that ring, nigga. Uh, fuck love you it. right up, nigga. Love it. Um, but you got niggas like Surf, Arsenal, you know what I'm saying? Shot and Shook. It's really all the Jersey niggas. Shout out to them. You got Calico how in the Midwest. How have how old? Niggas is. Niggas how successful are these dudes with they It's not about success, it's about transition and work. When you can see somebody do that transition, it's inspiration. I don't need a nigga to be a millionaire to inspire me. You understand what I'm saying? A nigga could be homeless to inspire me if you do the right shit in front of me. You understand what I'm saying? I, I'm not looking at like success, but yes, it is possible. Mm -hmm. I feel as though it's possible. But, you know, people definitely got the biases. They got the blinders on. They definitely got the, you know, we get stereotyped from mm -hmm. the rip. Oh, you battle rapper, especially when people tend to come at us with features and music. Oh, you a battle rapper? All right, well, I got this song. It's super hard. I mean, she just drop bars on it. <laughs> bars. I know you got bars. <laughs> it's like, damn, my nigga, like, I'm musically inclined. Like, I can sing. I'm not an auto tune. I'm harmonized. I'm not to do everything, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do it all. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, uh, this is what I do. I'm, I, I do music. I come from the music scene. I don't come from the old oh, battle rap. Oh, that's what I do. Right. That's what's going on with a lot of these niggas. They just battle rap. Right. You got niggas like Murder Mook who's been trying his best at making a song for years. And he can't do it. 
but yet they call him the GOAT. The f you miss me with that. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, that stigma's been around for a long time and I blame my old heads. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not one of them. Okay. I'm an artist. I'm not a battle. I don't even let people call me a battle rap. Okay. You know I mean? So last um, battle rap question I'm going to ask you. Let's do it. going to some other stuff. I'm gonna ask you more, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna ask you more, but I don't wanna know. Like, so, <laughs> I'm just saying, that was the last question I was gonna ask you. Nah, because you made it seem as if you were over the battle rap was. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> have you ever, you're going toe to toe with somebody, right? And be like, oh shit, this nigga might get me. Nah, I mean, <laughs> plenty of times, plenty of times, if you don't feel like that, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Any nigga shit and tell you they ain't never had pre-game jitters, mid-game jitters, right, damn, right, this right, nigga's right. cooking jitters. You just get what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right, fucking right. lie. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's normal, that's normal, that's natural. It's human, human instinct. Especially if they got hot and got the room shaking, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit, I wrote that crazy. Mm. But that should be like a 2.5 second film. Then it's like, oh, fuck this thing. I turn around and my niggas like, oh, yeah, this shit. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. I did. I see how going to do it just now. <laughs> So, how did you and homie here connect? Oh man, we've been uh, doing shows, man, hitting this road, man. Like I said, I'm very musically inclined. I do music, man, and that, that's my passion. You know what I'm saying? So, we've been doing shows, man, hitting this road. We just had a show last night at Catcher Lounge. You know what I'm saying? Fred's guy. Shout out to you know Shout out to my man Fred. Shout out to my man Hollywood Pond. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Hollywood Pond. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Jago, Flow Television. You know what I'm saying? Get everything. We got all the visuals. Nasty, nasty visuals. Um, TPF. TPF, man. We got a show coming up. Uh, March 9th. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Trip, Biggie Tribute. We got Albion. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Casanova, Fetty Wap, Fat Boy SSE, Kodak Black. You know okay. what I'm saying? We're bringing them out to PA. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to turn up. And it's, about, and it's not going to just be one show. This is multiple shows. We'll be running around with these guys for a little while. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the show niggas that you can definitely transition from that rap to music. Okay. And that's how we're about to hit them in the head with that. Fact. You just got to go ahead and get outside, get up off your ass, and Fact. go do it. And that's, what, that's the problem. That's what's keeping yeah, niggas yeah. locked in this. I only battle, I only battle rap. I can't make music. I can't get mainstream. Cause niggas is sitting in the house, sitting on their ass, waiting for a battle rap phone call. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Dropping music on SoundCloud. Mm. Hoping the niggas push your share a thousand times. Fact. Yeah, you know what just comes to you. Don't like that. Before I ask this battle rap question, mm -hmm. I'm gonna disagree with you slightly for this reason. I said, cause you just said mm -hmm. that move. You try to make music, he can't do it because he's ass, my nigga. But it's there's a lot of he, he's ass, but he has the footwork. The footwork yeah, is not gonna cover the ass, my nigga. You think what I'm saying? So this is so and, 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 and that, that but that's that part of what you're saying. Is, I, ain't, yeah, you know, I ain't gonna call him ass. He's not gonna do it. Mook ass. Wait, his music, quote unquote, mook ass. So <laughs> there is. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. I love it. I've heard battle rap nigga songs. I'm like, right. <laughs> Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, how don't you know how to make a song, my nigga? Like, you're rapping. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you it's battling? Like, why are you battling me through this? Through the rhythm? You're exactly. It's just with auto tune on. <laughs> why are you battling with auto tune? Tell you what, somebody specific joke. A lot of specifically, niggas, niggas need to tighten up, man. I agree. I agree. But now to go back to what you were saying before, if you're other music, because you used to have to battle niggas back then. If you rap, you understand what I'm saying? If you rap, you had the battle niggas. Period. Like that's just, that's just that just was part of the situation. Exactly. And so I say, a nigga I'll run up on you. Yo, you rap right here. Yeah. Yeah. Battle me right now. Ah. And, and, and all those other niggas had bars. Niggas had so we bars. And that's what I'm doing to niggas now. Right. And niggas can't see that. I don't give a fuck about who you are. Bill, we got you battling doodle screens here, janitor. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> got footage, it was footage. I don't want to see this footage. I don't give a fuck about nothing you got going on. Niggas be hitting me up. Yo, I know dude who squeeze. I love the school with him. I tell you all about him. Cool, write a book. Keep it for your fucking self. Make a million. <laughs> Never get out my face. I don't do research on niggas. I'm not talking about your personal life. I will talk about everything. I might not say your fucking name, my nigga. This rap can hit anybody. That's why I say my punch lines, you and push. Each bar, every round is universal. You know what I'm saying? This is, I'm the fill a bar guy. I will kill you. And I ain't even talking about you. <laughs> Niggas be pissed. Yo, did you even say anything about me? How did he win? Yo, he fucked you up. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> he did that super duper scum shit. Yo, you was fucking sick, nigga. <laughs> you drank that empty water, nigga. Hard. You sipped the shit out of that empty bottle. What the fuck are you talking about? I killed you. Oh man! Wow! wow. That's <laughs> I don't even that's, talk about these niggas, man. That's, yo, I watched a few joints and I was crying. I'm like, this nigga's crying. He's trying. I don't even know the fucking balance I get on this sometimes, bro. That's what they look like. That's yeah. what these motherfuckers really like too. Being with them all the time. That's what these motherfuckers really like. I, really I am. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not sitting around. I got shit to do. Every time you see me, I'm on the road. I'm in a different state. I'm in a different city. I'm here. I'm there. I'm not sitting around watching that 45 minute battle. <laughs> to determine your skill set and your lifestyle. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know what you remind me of? Uh, Greece. Yeah, they got a lot of similarities. They should be. I'm not staring at a nigga for 45 <laughs> minutes. Uh, <laughs> to rap. Why you rapping? Like, oh yeah, I got this. I, I figured this pattern. Like, no, I don't care about your pattern. I don't care about your skill set. I don't care what type of way you rap. I don't care who's standing behind you yelling. None of that shit. I don't care how ripped your shirt. None of that. I'm fucking telling you, man. I might not even say your name. Man. I might not even talk about you. I might shout a whole different city out there. I love it. Bill I Charles. You know what I'm saying? Dumb shit. They be like, damn, this nigga just shout out 10 Detroit blocks. We in fucking Cincinnati. It's <laughs> 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 hard. <laughs> they killed you. Oh, man. So, what do you think about the Jay Mills? Was that K-Shot? I don't think about it. That's what keeps me, that's what helps me sleep that night. So, you didn't watch it? Yeah, I watched it. No opinions at all? My opinion is, I don't think about it. That was disgusting. The fuck is wrong it with this? This is my This is my This is my Wait, wait, wait. This is my Did Jay Mills be cooked? Don't ask me stupid shit. This is my thing. <laughs> I want your opinion, my nigga. Don't, don't ask questions you know the answer to. This is my thing, my nigga. This is my thing, my nigga. Stop reaching out to these old ass out of the loop niggas. It's old niggas that's in the loop, still saucing, still working. Y'all keep pulling niggas out the fucking woodwork because they need to pay their electric bill. Mm -hmm. And y'all blessing these niggas with checks that they don't fucking deserve, that they're not getting elsewhere. And they're crawling back to battle rap, which they left and shit on. Mm -hmm. I think this is goofy, man. And it's like, the niggas that's doing this shit, it's the main nigga that's doing this shit. And it's like, I show major love to this nigga, respect to this nigga, but this nigga act like a goofy. And every time I turn around, this nigga on Twitter act like a goofy. And I'm not even gonna say the nigga name because I'm not shedding light on Goofy's 2019. Oh, but he know him. he know who he is. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. just you you know who he is. You just brought his battle up. Oh man. You just brought his event up. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, Bill collect his head. <laughs> you just brought his whole event up. <laughs> Yo, we got music? He's booking these goofy yeah. niggas. Let's get some music. <laughs> he get burnt by niggas, you on Twitter acting like a female, they ain't talking about he taking it to the court. Jesus Come on, baby. Let's get it. Right. Bill collecting the building. Yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna switch up.
Um, I need to do another verbal war zone battle. That's the battle zone beats. I don't know if y'all seen what I just did on there. First three Dennis, we like you better as a fat nigga. I made a whole song yeah, on that. Yeah. Like, uh, that's my guy. Shout out to Dre Dennis and shit, man. We we ain't mad that out or nothing, man. We was really trying to take it easy on each other. Mm -hmm. And I freestyle and that's when I freestyle I get goofy. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? What happened was he picked this slow ass Rick Ross sound to be thinking it would throw me off my game because I'm slow. But what it made me do is come up with one of the catchiest fucking hooks mm -hmm. in the game. Okay. I made a whole song. Song. And it was like that shit is playing right now. So shout out to Rebel Wars and shout out to another one. Another. And I need to make I need, I, need, I need to make a half of M just off rap all alone. Just mm -hmm. all rap money. You know? None of this little side money, side ventures or nothing else I got going on that don't count. I need to make a, a half of M. I want to see five hundred thousand cash all rap. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal. Like nothing else, like everything else don't count. You understand know what I'm saying? For straight rap money, I need to see that. Okay. So that's that's the goal. I watched that. I watched some of it, because that shit started to fuck me. I didn't know what I was looking at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at this shit, and I'm thinking, all right, this is going to be a regular battle, and then it's music. And I wasn't sure if that beat so somebody added the music later, but until I seen you, I'm like, yo, this nigga's rapping. Like, he's flowing to this shit. Like, oh, he can hear the beat. Yeah. Oh, this is happening. Yeah. Okay. I'm confused. And then I moved on. Do you prefer... But you was definitely doing your thing from what I did here. But now that you said that that's what it was supposed to be, yeah. I'm going to go back and go. check that out. Because you know niggas be playing around and just doing yeah, shit sometimes. Making mixes and shit. Yeah, so I'm like... And I'm the reason for that. Yeah? You remember, I, that came from me. You, you, I got the burn. That was me. Mm-hmm. talking to me. I got the burn. Big yeah. T, the original battle rap mix. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then he started mixing other niggas out of courtesy because niggas is blowing his inbox up and begging and looking like peasants with their hands out. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm listen, I'm not. Yeah, man. Talk that like, shit. Talk I'm listen, spicy. listen, man. Just can't none of these I niggas love, do that with me over here. I love the spicy talk. It's nasty. What's the dude name who battled Hollow the Dawn? Um, Which one is his name? You talking about Jaja? Clips? No, no, not him. Yeah, Charlie Clips? Nah, he's an older cat. You come to Bucks. Bucks, Bucks, yeah. Bucks, yeah. Bucks, yeah. Mumble Rapper. Mumble Rapper? Mumble Rap. Mmm, okay. Oh, listen to Mumble Rap. Loaded Lux. Mumble Rap. You heard me. I ain't repeat myself. How? I don't repeat myself, bro. He's a Mumble Rapper, my nigga. Mm. What's, what's your definition of, of, of Mumble Rap? What the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I listen to you and I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you really talking about? Mm. But I see everybody else jumping around like they know what you said. And I asked them, you know, so what do you mean? Mm. Tell me what that meant though. Okay. And they be like, Dum. Just because you wear Kofi, don't mean anything else? I'm not trying to hit none of that fucking pussy. Pussy, 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 you swear to God. I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I never, 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 I yeah, mm -hmm. mumble rap. Mm -hmm. Who has time for that? I don't, I don't have time for mumble rap, bro. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about so I can react and perform. So even the Flex Freestyle, it got to a point where I was like, Flex, yeah, flex, flex Freestyle was nice until he started mumble rap. I had to turn it off. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I'm it God, was I'm like, ooh, swing. ooh, what that mean? Mm -hmm. Rewind it. It don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes they just got me. Niggas just rap until they make listen to the ball. You got me. It's like when you sell a nigga, uh, when you sell a nigga a plate of weed, and it's like a half a plate of some real you shit, a half a plate of some fake shit. shit. You got me, man. Niggas is going. Finesse me. Damn, eight, eight of these zips ain't even mean nothing. That's a fact. You just got the money back. Damn. I gave you enough real shit to get you back. We ain't gonna say it, fake front of fraud, man. Niggas don't know what the fuck Lux be talking about. And they be jumping around with their face ball up in the background. Looking stupid because not walking it's so hard. Right. Right. I mean. niggas do that though. Yeah, but I'm the nigga that'll walk up while he's still rapping. What do you mean? Tell me what that meant. Because you on the floor. Yeah, right. You made, you had the biggest reaction out of that. Yeah. What does it mean? Nigga be sitting there like, ha. Because he said, would you, 
the spaghetti is ready. Freddy, you get the. <laughs> you know that. I mean, fuck you, Bill. And then when he took his spatula out. <laughs> yeah, when he took his spatula and he pressed it again. He, he pressed it, he flipped the Bible around. Yeah. We cooked the Bible. That shit was crazy. It made so much sense because if you really read, man, fuck you, Bill. So I need okay. a ride home. <coughs> I think I'm upset. I had walked this up to Guz when he was up there. Shout out to Guz. Shout out to Shout out to you feel about this shit. Like, this, like it, to me, honestly, this shit is like WWE right here. Does been WWE. And this is what I'm saying. My only problem was I didn't know that. And coming in the game, I didn't know that. I came in the game thinking it was real nigga time. And I'm on real nigga time acting like a real nigga. And people was looking at me like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want you to be a real nigga, but can you stop being a real nigga? Right, right. Like, be a real nigga, but don't be a real nigga. Like, right, you, right, can right. you do that? Can you act like one? Like, but don't be one? Right. And I'm like, yo, what? I was so confused and I started understanding, okay, because this is why I started really understanding when a group of corny niggas was making me feel like I was corny. Mm -hmm. A group of squares that don't give a shit was like, whoa, Bill, what are you doing with that gun? <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm like, yo, y'all niggas is gangster rappers, y'all named after guns and shit. Yeah, but I'm not even gonna name these niggas, but these are some top niggas. That I mean, was acting like this. I mean, and I, I made think of one because like, that's one gun that came to mind. Listen, it made, it, 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 <laughs> it made me reevaluate my movement around these things. So I went home and I really changed my whole shit up. You dig what I'm saying? I nerded myself down a little bit. It was hard, but mm -hmm. I did it. And I took that street shit and I kept that shit in the streets. And I kept this rap shit, rap shit. And I treated these rappers like rappers instead of street niggas. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And I started showing up on rapper time. I went and cut my hair. I went and threw that gold on my neck. I went and started putting that foreign shit on. I went and started showing these niggas, yeah, it's money around. I'm not showing it to you battle rap niggas. I wasn't doing that. I was showing up with sweatpants on. With yeah, because I'm here to get loose. Dirty. I was here yeah. to get loose. Yeah, yeah, I'm niggas, here to get and once I started seeing that people was turning their nose up at that, I realized what type of tea party this was. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? This is a soup tie event. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Even though this is gangster battle rap, please don't bring any gangsters here. You understand what I'm saying? It's not for gangsters. I'm gonna tell you what I'm It's for people that wanna talk about being gangster in rhythm form. Mm -hmm. This shit kinda of started to lose me when niggas was like, our faces calling each other pussy and talking about harmony. And I'm like, at what point, at what point is this shit, are we not rapping anymore? Because I don't know how long I'm gonna take that. Like, I, mean, so, I mean, like, that's why you would never be accepted in battle rap, because it's like, yo, this nigga keep punching on niggas. So. He's <laughs> like, yo, like, you just. You just spit in my face while you called me pussy and oh. told me you was gonna fuck my mom. This the twist behind like, the scenes. Whoa! I'ma tell you this, behind the scenes, all that shit was discussed for the niggas. Already, but I see I know that now. Yo, that, I didn't know that when before. When I say this part, I spit a little bit. I've been trying to stop it doing my rehearsal. <laughs> and I can't stop it, so if I spit on you, son. You know you so love, I love you, son. You understand, know son? And I say this one part about your mind, but you know I love you know, my dog. I, I, I was just over there eating yeah. food, yo. I love you, nigga. This is what I'm saying. Like, that so, takes something from me. Yeah. Like, that, you understand? Like, bro, it's so knowing lot, that, it's, it's like. a lot for me, bro. And I walked around this, I walked around the culture bitter for a long time. I was upset. I was complaining. I was that guy. I was the guy that felt like I wasn't getting my just dues. Yeah. I was always upset, moping around. I was turning down shit because I thought I'm going to quit. I'm going to retire. Mm -hmm. Then I, one day I said, fuck that. Just work through it. Kobe Bryant. Every time I go through some shit, I just work through it. So why don't I work through this? I'm working through people not accepting my work. I'm going to keep working until they accept my work. And that's what the fuck I did. Every time you turn around and doing something, you can't not see me. Mm. I don't care if I'm on a big league. The niggas, big leagues ain't fucking me. In a year and a half, I ain't been on a big league. But they can't not see me. Mm. Why matter? Every time you turn around, I'm booked. Nigga. I'm no, I'm talking about a lot of big leagues. But I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I would say because I was a liability. Mm. I was a loose cannon. Mm. I'm a nigga out of that's punching on shit because people don't expect <laughs> me to punch on shit. Mm -hmm. I'm wilding out. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I'm getting rude. I don't give a fuck who I'm talking to because everybody is my equal because we all humans. Yeah. And it's I don't look at nobody like, oh, you above me because you got this views and nah, nigga, you my little nigga right now because I know if we, we get physical with it, your views not going to fight you. Jump. <laughs> you and your views can't fight. <laughs> that is real talk. If I you and your views, not, 
You and your views not in the building with 10 blood niggas and 10 crypt niggas at the same time. It's not your views, nigga. It's not your views. It's your use. It's your use, nigga. <laughs> what are yous gonna do to me? Yeah. Fuck out of here. So we about to Fuck out of God. get up out of here. I know you said you had a, a your throat wasn't. You know yeah, yeah, that's why I brought y'all, that's why I brought y'all like three different tracks, that's why I gave y'all the freestyle, I brought some, uh, I brought some motivation music, and I brought some weed head music, that's gonna show my versatility. So, so, yeah. home. so yo, yeah. what's up with that list that you just made? What list I made? What, what top, what top list you just made that you just cleared for oh, Battle Rock? 20, man, shout out to Source Magazine, man, I don't know if I shout out y'all, shout out y'all niggas out, man, y'all, y'all niggas already know y'all can pull up to the crib with some backwards when we get high. If you work at the source, them saying you want to smoke some weed with good collecting, man, bring some backwards to the grave and I'll get you out of exactly uh, straight from, from flamingo ass to flamingo. I grow weed on flamingo ass, it's exotic. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's source, man. I made, that top, I made that top 20 list, man, without any big weed uh, help, man. Just straight muscle. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing, man. We gorilla, we gorilla, we gorilla pimping. We gorilla working, man. We, we broody and shit. Put the muscle on everything. Um, question to both of y'all. Y'all got projects coming out soon? Bunch of shit. Kill Bill Volume 2. I know he's working on the album for, yeah. for Boozy. You know what I'm saying? That's about to be nasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just dropped Benny Beanie BG, the mixtape. That's my first mixtape release on the Badass Music Syndicate. That's available on SoundCloud, Dat Piff, all those, all those platforms, Audio Mac, all that. Mm -hmm. It's streaming right now. And where can people follow y'all at? Follow me on everything at Good Collector PA. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, if you see me on Facebook, don't even try to add me as a friend. It's so much. Um, so, yeah. so much. I got 5,000 friends three times. Nigga, it's over. Uh, yeah, but follow me, Good Collector PA, on everything, man. Or just go on my website, man, angrybillshow.com. Bottom line. Official NG on Instagram, man. Y'all come for me. Y'all see me on Boosie's page. Y'all see me on Boosie's page. You like what Boosie's sign? You know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the dude, shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. Josh is my guy. He writes all my battle raps. I'm sure. <laughs> 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 he got the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Quick shout out to Carlos Brown with Network Promotions, Global Rhythm, Entertainment. Uh, shout out to Big John the Jeweler. I'll be still fan. Yeah, I like that. That's you? Yeah, that's me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said, man. I had to go throw that gold on my neck, man. You know what I'm saying? Turn up my respect. I'm put my face in the chain. You got it. You know, they don't have that name. Yeah, I guess I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you know. You know, pass it over. <laughs> <laughs> it's the logo. You know what I'm saying? You see that everywhere. He plugged the flash drive and it's sitting on his computer screen. <laughs> Same logo. You can't even believe it. You like, damn, I didn't even notice this shit. You understand what I'm saying? The logo everybody, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, I'm gonna get Donald Trump a tattoo and shit in his face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Donald Trump a nigga, don't believe all this racist shit he's throwing. Donald Trump sell drugs, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, Donald, do that. Donald Trump sell coke and brows, though. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know what Yo, let's go out to, to one of his tracks right there, Pete. What you let's, let's, play that, let's play that to the head so y'all can see that, that the versatility, man. This is a weed song. I'm a motherfucking pie head, man. Shots to my man Bill Collector coming through ANG. Shots to Josh. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Boy, guy, y'all come back.